Russia will equip a new batch of T-90M main battle tanks with the ArenaM Active Protection System featuring an anti-drone mode, a Russian Defense Ministry officer said during a broadcast on Russia 24. The officer said work on updating the ArenaM software was completed in 2025, adding a dedicated submode designed to intercept drones as they approach the tank. The system is intended to counter small, unmanned aerial vehicles, including attack drones, before they reach the vehicle. Footage aired alongside the statement showed armored vehicles inside production facilities at Eurovaganzavod. The video included AT-72B3A fitted with Arena-M during assembly and previously known T-90M tanks equipped with the same active protection system during trials. Arena-M is a hard-kill active protection system designed to detect and intercept incoming threats using radar and counter munitions launched from dedicated mortars mounted around the turret. The Russian officer said the updated software allows the system to engage aerial targets associated with drone attacks, expanding its role beyond traditional anti-tank munitions. Russian state media visuals accompanying the report included a computer animation of the system's operation. The animation depicted the counter munition being launched from a side equipment box rather than the turret-mounted mortars, a detail inconsistent with the known configuration of Arena-M shown on production vehicles. Official statements about modifying Arena-M to counter drones were first made by Russian officials roughly two years ago. The latest announcement represents the first on-air confirmation that the updated software has been implemented and will be applied to newly produced tanks. Some sources have claimed that the Arena-M system will be installed only on a revised version of the T-90M, sometimes referred to as the T-90M-2, featuring an updated turret with an expanded rear section. Those sources have also said production of that variant in 2026 would be limited, though the Defense Ministry officer did not comment on production numbers or specific subvariants during the broadcast. The T. 90M represents the most modern and combat-effective tank in the Russian Army's inventory. Introduced into service shortly before the full-scale invasion of Ukraine in February 2022, the T-90M was designed as a deep modernization of the T-90 platform, incorporating enhancements drawn from lessons learned from recent conflicts. The tank features the latest-generation explosive reactive armor, Relict, an improved 125mm smoothbore gun with an auto-loader, advanced fire control systems, including the Kalina Battle Management Suite and a more powerful V-92S2F diesel engine generating 1,130 horsepower. It is also equipped with a panoramic thermal sight for the commander and modern communication systems to integrate with combined arms networks. What sets the T-90M apart is its survivability and lethality in high-threat environments. It incorporates both passive and reactive protection systems, and recent frontline footage suggests it is being increasingly deployed alongside electronic warfare assets and reconnaissance drones to maximize its battlefield effectiveness. In terms of firepower, mobility, and digital integration, it significantly outclasses older Soviet-era tanks such as the T-72B3 and T-80BVM still in Russian service. As Ukraine's battlefield tactics evolve with greater reliance on Western-supplied anti-tank guided missiles, tandem charge warheads, and loitering munitions, Russia has accelerated the adaptation of its armor to meet these emerging threats. Military sources and recent combat imagery indicate that the T-90M is undergoing continuous upgrades to its protection suite in direct response to Ukrainian innovations in drone warfare and precision munitions. Field modifications have become increasingly visible, including slat armor cages designed to disrupt FPV drone flight paths and turret-top mesh screens intended to defeat top attack munitions such as the Javelin and the Swedish-supplied in LAW. In recent months, battlefield footage has revealed the presence of new electronic countermeasure systems mounted on T-90MS believed to be adapted from existing EW jamming kits used by Russian infantry and UAV units. These devices appear to be intended to confuse or disable drone targeting systems while the tank moves through contested zones. Furthermore, some units have been seen equipped with improvised cope cages, 
and infrared signature suppressors intended to mitigate visibility to thermal-guided loitering munitions. Russian defense industry sources have indicated more permanent factory-level changes to the T-90M's armor configuration, suggesting that Ural Vagonzavod is now manufacturing newer batches with integrated counter-drone shielding and upgraded soft-kill protection systems. These adaptations aim to address the growing asymmetry of drone warfare, which has emerged as one of the defining features of the Ukrainian battlefield since late 2023. Russian commanders have reportedly issued directives prioritizing the survivability of high-value platforms such as the T-90M by combining physical armor upgrades with EW support and mobility tactics. For Russian commanders, the T-90M is not just a tool of firepower but also a strategic symbol of industrial resilience. Its deployment enables Russian forces to sustain offensive operations particularly in contested regions such as Donetsk, Zaporizhia, and around Kupiansk, where mechanized assaults and positional warfare demand robust armored capabilities. In these sectors, the T-90M provides a mobile platform capable of spearheading attacks, resisting anti-tank ambushes, and engaging enemy armor in standoff battles. Despite international embargoes intended to disrupt Russia's access to Western-made electronics, optics, and thermal imaging systems, Ural Vagonzavod continues to deliver modern tanks at a steady pace. Analysts suggest that component substitution and parallel supply chains through China, Central Asia, and Iran have allowed the Russian defense industry to maintain output, albeit at the cost of reduced performance in some subsystems. This latest delivery underscores a broader shift in Russia's wartime economy. With military production now prioritized nationwide and much of the industrial base operating under defense orders, the Kremlin has turned to mass manufacturing as a strategic lever to prolong its campaign. The T-90M has emerged as the centerpiece of this effort, ensuring that Russia retains a credible armored force despite high attrition.